Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Scientists monitoring the Chernobyl nuclear power plant says that nuclear fission reactions are occurring again in the reactor hall's remains, some 35 years after the core exploded. Sensors monitoring the masses of uranium fuel buried in the basement rooms of the reactor have detected rising levels of neutrons, signaling that the fission process used to create nuclear energy is occurring in one of the inaccessible rooms within the plant. Although the levels are rising slowly, scientists are working to figure out the cause of the activity and what action needs to be taken to prevent the risk of further radiation leaking out from the plant. Maxim Savelev, a researcher at the Institute of Safety Problems of Nuclear Power Plant in Kyiv, Ukraine, said that there were many uncertainties about the situation inside the remains of the reactor unit, adding that, we can't rule out the possibility of an accident. It's believed that around 95% of the original fuel from the reactor flowed into the plant's basement rooms following the disaster in April 1986, forming solid fuel containing material FCMs. A year after the explosion, a concrete and steel sarcophagus was placed over the top of the reactor's remains to contain radiation from the FCMs, with a large, more secure, new safe confinement installed in 2016 at a cost of more than 1.5 billion euros. Since then, neutron counts have stabilized in the most parts of the plant, but science magazines report that in room concern levels have almost doubled in four years. Speaking to the magazine, nuclear material chemist Neil Hyde described the situation inside the reactor hall as like the embers in the barbecue pit. Ukraine has been exploring ways to remove the FCMs before they reach critical levels for several years and is set to release proposal for doing so later this year. Current level of radiation means it's too dangerous for humans to go in to stabilize the FCM causing this fission reaction, with one option being to develop a robot capable of withstanding radiation to insert boron cylinders into the deposit. While there is no risk of continent-wide nuclear fallout like one seen in 1996, Hart says that an exponential increase in fission could cause an uncontrolled release of nuclear energy, with experts concerned that an explosion could cause a partial collapse of the old sarcophagus, filling the NSC with radioactive dust. More than four decades after the world's most nuclear disaster, Chernobyl continues to throw up new problems for the scientists working to contain it. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for more updates.